Yes, this song was written almost 50 years ago. Like Sgt. Pepper's. I heard it in a uh, kind of a snarky, satiric review that was playing at a joint on uh, Northwestern Highway near 12 Mile Road. It later became the Excalibur. You may know the building. At that time, it was called uh, the Zodiac, and it stuck around for a while. I dropped in to hear the show one night, and one song I particularly was interested in, and I asked for a copy of it, and that song is going to emerge in the next few moments. A little bit about the song. For one thing, there are a few names in it, uh, which bespeak an earlier time. Some political figures that were ascended about 50 years ago, but I think you'll know who they are. It also mentions another character who some of you may not remember, uh, Dr. Joseph Goebbels, who was the uh, propaganda minister of the Third Reich. What else do you want to say? Oh yes, there's also a word in here, a little Anglo-Saxon word, you can count the letters, there are not many. And it's known to every English speaker around the globe if they're at least four years old. Maybe five years old in, in Oklahoma, but the rest of the world knows it by the time they're four. And if it's going to offend you, and there's any little ones here, now's the time to cover their ears. If the writer had had any smart... Uh -huh. the, sensor, the, sensor, the, sensors are here. the sensors are here already. They're supposed to wait for the bad word, okay? Um, yes, well, I think we ought to just go ahead. This song might have been called Oxymoron in the key of C. However, however, it was titled Fighting for Peace. And it goes something like this. Something like, thank you. <laughs> I forgot what I was say there. <laughs> something like this. All right, my song. Peace 
everywhere on the map is nothing but government 